In this lesson, we're going to learn about the new Edit Geo node and how you can use it to save yourself a round trip to a 3D application. Okay, so what I have set up here is a camera projection using a FBX uh, piece of geometry that came out of Maya. So you can see we've got our projection going onto um, our geometry here and then we have a nice little camera movement that goes along with that. So, you know, this is a pretty simple projection. There's not, you know, a ton going on in this node tree. Um, and if you zoom in here, you'll notice that we've got our main building geo. And you'll notice up here that it's off a little bit. So our projection isn't working perfectly. We need to edit the geometry that um, is being projected onto. So originally, before this new edit geo node feature, you would have had to go back into Maya, edit your geometry there, re-export it, and then read it back into Nuke. Now we can do it all from inside of Nuke. So what we want to do is either select uh, the node that you want that edit geo node to come in after, or you can just hover over and then drop it in. So I know this is the one that I want to edit. So if I select it and I hit the tab key and type in edit geo, it's going to drop that in right after that main building geo and then we can begin to edit from here. So it's going to be a little bit easier for us to edit in the 3D view. So let's move to that. I'll just come up here and go to 3D and then let's zoom out a bit and take a look at our geometry. So you can really see where the problem is happening. It's catching way too much of the image of that photograph um, to work. So what we need to do is come in here and begin to edit some of the points on that geometry. So I'm going to take these back down and probably take these two back over to the left a little bit. Now you have to be in a certain mode for this to work. So I'll just click this uh, selection type here and you can either be in vertex selection or face selection for this node to work. I prefer vertex selection. So what we've got now is access to the vertexes of that geometry or the vertices. So I'm just going to orbit around until I don't have any vertices from that background geometry. And let's just grab these two pieces right here and I'll grab the X and we're just going to drag that over until it overlaps with this line because that's where I need it to end. Okay. And then let's orbit back around the other way and grab these two vertices and we'll move them down until that is in the proper position. Okay, let's go back out to our 2D view. So I'll just come in here or you could hit tab. And you'll see now that's lining up really nicely. So very easily and quickly we were able to fix something that normally would have probably taken you maybe 10 or 15 minutes to fix. And if you didn't know how to use the 3D program that it was created in, if someone else had made that for you and you just did the camera projection, you would really be out of luck in trying to edit the geometry yourself. So this just really helps Nuke artists to be a little bit more self-sufficient and just speeds up your workflow tremendously if you're having trouble with something like a camera projection or really any kind of geometry that's not in the position that you want it to be. Now it's very easy to simply edit it in Nuke and move on with your project. Okay, so let's uh, stick around and we'll learn about another new feature in Nuke 8 in the next lesson.